Your loved one's headstone damaged or knocked over. But for seven families in Noonan, that's exactly what happened. And now police are trying to find the people or person who did this. I don't know what they were thinking. It's supposed to look like this, intact and in place. Not quite like this. It's terrible to go out to somebody's cemetery, go out to somebody's family member and do do some vandalism like this. Lieutenant Tate Washington with Noonan Police tells me a cemetery crew doing routine maintenance noticed the destruction back on December 16th, right in the middle of the holiday season. You know, family members usually go to the gravesite. You know, they want to visit one of their family members, you know, during the holidays. Uh, I would hate to know that, you know, someone showed up over there to see this damage because you know, that's, that's not what you're expecting. Seven headstones and a few granite flower vases were damaged. Police say they have no clue who did this. It's a two day span where, where we don't know if anybody was actually walking through the cemetery uh, and may have seen this before the city workers actually noticed it or not. Uh, we don't know if anybody saw anybody doing anything. Some of the headstones date back to the 1800s. Washington says they're trying to track down the families. The problem with, with a lot of these older, older plots is the record keeping from back in the day is different than the way it is now. Police are asking anyone with any information to come forward. Police tell me whoever did this is facing misdemeanor charges, but they say depending on the cost of the damage, there could also be felony charges as well. In Noonan, Natalie Foltz, Fox 5 News.